Hello everybody, Brian here from quantlabs.net. I want to show you uh, Fibonacci levels um, for the pricing target. So let me just set up my screen here. Okay, so what I've got here is I made a new script called uh, your chart price action. Uh, I can feed it in the argument as uh, the pair that I want, as well as the number of days I want to analyze all hourly data. So this is how everything works thus far. So I'm going to show you the most recent uh, pricing action for Bitcoin against USDT, which is equivalent of the world of Bitcoin against US dollar. This is using Binance. And uh, hopefully we can get some information happening today. Blah, 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 blah. There we go. It doesn't normally take that long. Let me just get rid of my mail component here. And um, okay, so we will have some new charts. The only ones I'm going to show you is the Fibonacci and the Bitcoin. And uh, let's look at the, well, we can look at both of them. BTC, USDT, and these are all PNG files. <clears throat> if you're learning from my course, this is built upon uh, already what you should already know. Uh, I'm using chart director here. So the first thing I've got is just a pricing action since 1st of May. So today is Wednesday, May 8th. It is all of these are hourly data over 24 hours, obviously. Here's our volume. You see the big moves with Bitcoin has been doing really well, uh, hitting some points of RSI, and it's maintaining its, uh, what we'll call now support and resistance levels using Fibonacci. So here's the Fibonacci levels. I have fixed up the Fibonacci charting. Uh, hopefully you are familiar with uh, Fibonacci, I'll assume you are. We have our popular um, levels of Fibonacci levels, uh, 0 0.236, 382, 0.5, 0.61, 0 0.786, and 100. So we can use these now for purely, uh, purely entry and exit, and you'll see how deadly accurate this is. So for instance, now remember, this is going back a uh, one week. So usually you can use this level, this level as a way to say we have a move, price move or on the move, and it's going to break through this 500 level. A couple of ways we can do it for an entry is usually we're going to use uh, these, these levels as support. So once we know we are uh, having a price over the last week, consistently higher than let's let it, let's say support level at 362 um, and then if it breaches through 500 we can do one of two things we could say okay i'm not feeling too good i don't know if um bitcoin has enough momentum in usd t or tether will it break through that 500 and if it does yes so one way to play it is to put on half a position if it breaks in through the uh, next important line, which a lot of people use is 618, use that as an entry. You can see here that uh, at 618, uh, the price of Bitcoin did bounce off it twice, and then it went up to level uh, 766. A couple of things we could, what we could see here is if we put on half a position, a full position on the price when it hits a 618, we put on the position, we would have lost a little money here. Same here on the second touch. But the price is still broken through 618. So because it now has moved up to the next level at 786, and you can see each time it's hitting new highs, it's always either hitting 786 or 100. And this is the bizarre thing about the high accuracy of Fibonacci. I mean, I'm going to show you other charts that show you it's just so close the highest high uh, that it reaches um, at these levels so 
here at 786 it reaches here it reaches at 786 and again we could have done two things we could have closed out our position here at 786 and take profit uh, and then as you know in Binance we can't really short but if we could we could short here and maybe um, think that the price would have dropped down which it did um, but it did come back at 700 so you know that I wouldn't say uh, let the level 500 is the exact support line but in between the 382 and the 500 line here and here to set a new support so once again we break through that 500 we could put an entry here or half a position full position here uh, take profit at a 786 and boom another way we could do it is on this leg the 500 uh, half a position full position uh, we still may have been in this I don't know take in an exit once we hit this level 100 and uh, taking profit but you see what's happening now is that this price here or this level at 786 may become if it holds over the next few days uh, the 786 will become the new support and then if momentum continues with uh, the price of of um, the price of uh, Bitcoin we can use uh, this as a new support and this and we can readjust I'll show you how we could do that so here along here's the pricing so here's our levels now these are the most recent so we could set our level 100 or 500 at 556.85 we could set our entry at the 618 level at 57.62 and then we could take profit here at level 786 uh, and take profit at 58.70 or if we're feeling good and we see the momentum continuing we can then take profit at 6,008 so we can set exact exact uh, pricing uh, levels or targets for both the entry and the exit now um, what I'm not showing you here is uh, the cool thing so this little script will chart the price action using both the moving average here um, so here as I said this is what's been going on but we pay really specific attention we can also see the momentum is dying off but that's okay but if we know that we're setting our as I said our new support level here at 786 we can now recalculate our most recent um, Fibonacci's and we can do that through this script by doing this so let's say we want to run a new set of lines or Fibonacci levels for three days so what I just showed you seven days so now we're going to look at the the uh, uh, three days so again this is Bitcoin Bitcoin's been performing pretty well I don't know why it's so slow maybe it's a recording I don't know there we go okay so now I'm gonna look at it again and there's two charts this is now for three day okay so we can see here in the pricing here's what we, we need to worry about with Bitcoin if we're gonna trade on the hour we get a big move and then we get a big down move so those still exist Look at these down, um, these big, large, negative moves, like big ones. We need to worry about those. So the question becomes, how do we trade it? And what type of long view do we use? Seven day, three day, one day, daily only, hourly? It's a whole combination. It depends upon how this plays out. But it really comes down to the, um, again, the Fibonacci levels. So this is now three days. So. A price is approximately uh, between 5900 and 6050 okay so here we have again using the same logic at 500 right here so this is a good move half a position full position you could still hang on that trade or we could have gotten out here so again we could have 
gotten a half position here at level 500, full position here, and it moved up, broke through the 786, take profit. Now, that's what you should usually do because if you hung on to that trade and hoped that it would hit the 100, probability of it not is not happening very much. But either way, these are big moves. You can see this is a 57.50, or sorry, uh, you know, these are like roughly 50, let's say 5,800 here, 500, and it moved all the way up past, I mean, you're looking at a 10, 15% move just in this little leg up, but the probability of it hitting this 100 level, the probability is not very strong. But once again, we know that this is happening where Bitcoin is continuously setting new support levels as the price each day moves up, gets stronger. So here at 500, at 786, take profit. Okay. We could have put a trade here if we wanted. And uh, um, wrote it out, but... I think my system probably wouldn't have done that. But what it would have done, it would have now set a new level at the 618. Okay, and then you can see here at 618, and we could have done the same process. And uh, let's just do a two day view. I haven't done this yet, but these are the sort of things that I'm thinking about. And again, these are hourly time frames that we're dealing with. So, oh, one thing I want to show you is very, very important. We talked about how accurate this thing is. Look at this. It peaks at level 100 on this move. This is Fibonacci at its best. Sequential, natural sequences in nature. This, again, seems to be bizarre how accurate it is. It, it peaks at level 100 on the three-day um, view with hourly data. That is pretty interesting. It just doesn't happen up here, up down here, right at 100 or level one. Okay. So, oh, and the other thing is you'll see how, um, I think this is a one day view now. Let me just see here. Yeah, it might have automatically fresh refresh itself. Yeah, so this is now the two day view as I said prior, it's set. Mm, you see how it bounces off that 382 on the on the on the two day. It just these moves are very very accurate. I mean, we are we are bouncing minimum 382 blows through that blows through that. Take profit or take profit here uh, on that particular trade. But again, these moves are always peaking at a Fibonacci level in this case. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven points of contact at level 786. That is pretty cool. And it peaks exactly at level 100. And it kind of blows through that 236. There's a lot of people using these levels, probably doing the same analysis. And it, I think it's something very, very accurate. But here's the problem. As I talked about the big moves, these big down moves, these are hard to watch for. But if you're only watching here and you are either breaking through, uh, putting your entry at the 500 or half a position or full position at the 618, get out at 786. As I said, the chances of it happening to blow through that 100, mm, that's a tough one. But again, you can see here, um, Another opportunity here to take that trade again at 500, half a position, 618, and it moves back up to 786. So there's different ways to attack it. Um, visually, you would think, and, and there's probably going to be a lot of intuition as a human on what to do when it hits these particular levels. There's probably some other factors you could look at, um, but when you overlay them on this move, Unfortunately, there is nothing that I know of that will do that. I am looking at some other indicators that could possibly what we call cycle um, cycle indicators. So I'm going to kind of see if those may work and I may chart those. Uh, so that is Bitcoin. 
So let's start looking at uh, Ethereum against USDT or, um, no, yes, Ethereum. Ethereum has been somewhat outperforming or can outperform. Uh, there's a lot more positive news with Ethereum and it seems to just do better with, when you look at, this is currently running. So right now, here's the performance of Bitcoin at, at 0.46, um, Ethereum Classic at 0.56. So Ethereum Classic's outperforming currently. And uh, so those are your top two performers in the big five that I look at. And again, those are Bitcoin, Ethereum Classic, Ethereum, Bitcoin Cash, and Litecoin.